So what we have here is an all-in-one PC Acer Aspire Z5600 problem with this um, PC it's an old PC it has one terabyte uh, uh, conventional hard drive the hard drive is not working well and we are replacing the hard drive by an SSD so to take uh, this uh, um, uh, to get inside uh, the PC basically we need to take uh, that this cover uh, off and there are three screws uh, you basically take it uh, you unscrew to take this uh, uh, thing off and maybe it's good to basically group the screws so you don't lose them and you know uh, where they are um, also you have two screws at the back here you can basically take them off and we have five more screws over here covered by uh, rubber you take this rubber off uh, using a small flat uh, screwdriver and this will expose the screws you take the screws you unscrew here take the screws out and uh, you may need something like this or if you have an old ram you can probably use a heat gun to take the uh, the, uh, the ICs out and then um, file one of the ends so this will help actually be able to you know go underneath and carefully try to uh, you know uh, take the cover off so this can come off if you are careful enough there are little you know um, clips if you are careful enough it will be easy to take it uh, to take the cover off after you take the cover off over here this is the housing for the old hard drive I took the old hard drive already out and if you are using an SSD this will be uh, 2.5 inch uh, size the old hard drive is 3.5 inches so I took this out and to install this you will need to basically put this uh, like so uh, and that should take care of uh, holding the SSD firmly so to take this out to take the old hard drive out basically there is a screw here you take it off and then this will go back up of course you take this off take the old hard drive and search the new SSD in and put it back together um, if you need to check the motherboard for any reason uh, this is basically for the lock you take two screws off right I just put the two screws these are not uh, the same size screws so I prefer to put it back so I don't lose it I put it here and then this cover there are some a little bit like few a few few more screws all around you take it uh, you take it out and then basically um, and uh, carefully you take this off and if you this is basically take it from this side and you just pull and lift up and this is basically the motherboard for uh, for this PC the only thing I noticed while inspecting this PC because it's very old this battery and dried so I replaced the battery we also have you can see a like a bad capacitor here but I don't think uh, after I actually replaced the hard drive by an SSD and installed Windows 10 um, did uh, you know work it with it uh, installed the latest update and uh, I don't see that this bad capacitor is doing anything like is affecting the the performance at all if you wish because this was an old PC you may notice that it's clean that's because I actually dust off it so if you wish to um, dust off the fan you simply can take these four screws 
off and there are few screws here around if you are careful enough and take this out you would be able to get access to the fan and this is the heat sink so you uh, if you have this uh, in your hand uh, you it would be um, uh, good to dust it off uh, efficiently and after you finish this is basically the memory for it uh, it's uh, like a laptop memory if you need to upgrade it, it would be good to upgrade it. now this one has four gigabytes uh, memory so it's good enough uh, the performance as well um, after you do whatever you want like if you need to upgrade the memory or replace the hard drive you just put everything back together as it was before so this is what i'm going to do now so i'm going to pause the video and get back to you after i put everything back just a quick, quick note i noticed i realized that i didn't need actually to take this off these two screws so if you want to take this cover off you don't need to worry about these two about taking this off um, at the beginning i thought this these may be uh, going through uh, this lock down but it's actually uh, holding uh, this lock piece uh, and that's it uh, when you taking this part off and put it back on you need to ensure that you have all the cables around it uh, so you don't hit it uh, by mistake or come down and prevent you from putting it back uh, appropriately so I have this part back I'm going to uh, put the screws uh, in now and we'll get back uh, to you so I'm going to pause the video just do this and we'll get back uh, to recording so another quick tip is if uh, when you put the screws back for uh, um, because these are many for a big piece like this so what you need to do is just you know put the screws don't tighten it uh, keep it loose until you have all the screws and make sure that all the screws are actually going to uh, its uh, place original place appropriately once you make sure that all the screws you know uh, go to its original place uh, well then you can uh, tighten the screws so i'm going so i'm going to do this right now i get back to the recording so all the screws tighten now um, another quick tip when you uh, need to you know copy the old hard drive the data from the old hard drive to the new hard drive uh, what you can do is you can use the data cable for the cd or the dvd so you can unplug this and uh, use it for the second drive uh, as a uh, to connect a second drive however for the power what you need is actually an adapter uh, so a splitter so fortunately I have a splitter which I use to plug both hard drives to be able to uh, copy the old uh, the data from the old drive to the new drive so this looks good to me now everything is tightened appropriately um, so I'm going to put the cover back and put all the screws back so I'm going to pause the video and once I finish this, I'll get back to the recording. So another quick tip over here, uh, when you put the cover back, you need to ensure that this rubber here is not uh, preventing this plastic piece from going down. Uh, when you put it, basically this will naturally will be underneath this, preventing this from going uh, all the way down as it's supposed to be. So you have a piece of rubber here, uh, the leg, and another leg here. So you need to make sure that this is, uh, when you put this cover back, you need to ensure that this, you bring this forward. So when you, when you, uh, when you put the cover back, this is seated properly all the way in. Um, so basically, this cover is uh, just um, um, is held by five screws here underneath two screws here and actually two screws here so if you take these um, um, eight screws um, 
three, two, four, and five, nine screws uh, away. Uh, if you take it, all, if you take these screw uh, screws out, basically you'll be able to get the cover off um, uh, out of the of the PC, and you are uh, able to access the the components underneath. So what's left now is basically put this back and screw this back and we will be done so i'm going to do this and get back to the video another quick tip here is this screw this um, back uh, support back leg support is is hold to the the pc um, you know through three three screws this one here is a little bit difficult to put if you need to be careful when you put it uh, back in because if you put it back in it will be in an angle and this may prevent you from putting it all the way through or uh, actually uh, if you uh, force yourself to put it all the way through you will damage it so what i would suggest is to have two type two types of uh, phillips screwdriver the regular one which uh, easy to access you know the the no problem ones right but for this one you may need something like this which can go through between so you are able to uh, basically um, uh, be straight to while you are be straight to uh, screw this uh, uh, to screw this to screw the screw in this is screw in appropriately without damaging it okay so this is all what's left is just basically uh, go put this cover there and that's it so this is all done here and also just put these rubbers back so i'm going to put these rubbers back and get back to the recording and that it is so we are completing this and hopefully this helps someone there. Thank you.